Hi, Sean. Nice to meet you, Bill Gossis. <laughs> I'm a new editor. I won a contest on the radio, and the prize was become a book editor. It's always a dream of mine. Have you ever edited a book before? Books? No. Text? Yeah, probably enough text that it adds up to a couple of books. With commas and periods and plots, he fails. Oh, he's Sean, he's Sean, he's Sean, he's Sean, he's Sean, the world's worst editor. I love the book. And I have thank a lot you. of great ideas. Oh, thank you. The book is about pies and, and desserts. Why don't we make the whole book edible? You see a page with a pie, it tastes like that pie. You see a parfait, you're like, I'm in the mood for a parfait. You eat that page, it tastes like a parfait. Will it taste good? Well, we'll have to find out. How can you write words in a book that's edible? You ever get a birthday cake before? You write happy birthday in the birthday cake, right? Same principle, it's just a little bit more advanced. I have a really big marketing idea for the oh, book. Oh, cool. We have you bake a giant pie, oh, we put okay. it in the middle of Times Square, you live inside the pie for 30 days. Wait, yep. live inside a pie? Yeah, what it is is you will eat your way out of the pie, and it takes about 30 days. We wanted to do less, but it's gonna take you a while to eat that pie. It sounds dangerous. We'll have paramedics, all sorts of stuff. Paramedics. Medical steps. In case something goes wrong, I don't think it will. It's the age of viral, baby. You know how viral that'll go? I was talking to a guy in the hallway. It turns out this book called The Girl on the Train is one of the biggest books this company has. Sure. What we do, we take the girl on the train, we put her in the sweet spot. It's like a crossover situation. You get her on the train, you get her baking on the train. People are wondering, they're going, Whatever happened to that girl from The Girl on the Train? Guess what? She's in the sweet spot now, and she's baking up a storm. Is it really bringing anything to the baking to do it on a train? Yeah, totally. You know how hard it is to probably bake on a train? It's a moving right. train. The, where's the connection between Girl on the Train and baking? Uh, how about millions of copies are sold? Okay, so it's never too early to start thinking about a follow-up book. What about this? The follow-up book, Baking with Bologna. Bologna's the most popular food in the world. You know, I, I sort of see these, my books and my whole philosophy of cooking as more natural products, baking and cooking more towards the, on the healthy end of things. We want to we wanna expand your horizons. We want to expand the audience. You're missing a whole bologna contingent, and they're going, natural products? Uh, Call me when you're using bologna. Have you, have you ever baked anything? What's paprika? You don't know what paprika is. And you're a food editor. Full disclosure, I only eat at the Arby's by my house.